we are going to have your perspective from the middle belt as the spokesperson of the middle belt in this platform yes. any day anytime yes. the world is celebrating you the world yes. is listening to you yes. at this point in time now they are talking about uh, release of Unam de Kano yeah. uh, you know uh, middle belt I see I say in it that you know what Unam de Kano is the face of struggle in Nigeria in Africa and once Unam de Kano is released the Awasas will revolt and send the Fulanese and the Arabs who are killing the Northerners and of course the middle betters back in that we are going to stage a revolt is it a good story news that we are hearing that Nam the Kano's release we engineer the ourselves to carry out a revolt against those killing them. Yes, of course, releasing Inam the Kano will be a great movement for the Nigerian government to do. And which of course the Fulani will not like that because they knew that they have an agenda. Their agenda right from the beginning is to see that they will take over everywhere because they have been using the houses. The houses people, if you go back to history, they are people that they don't have problem in this country called Nigeria, but as, but as of the time when the Fulani came in with their invasion, they began to use the Hausa to become their tool in which they will achieve their aim. So the Hausa, many of the Hausa now, they are real, realizing that they are realizing that the Fulani had been using them for negative reason, negative purpose, and now, now their eyes is open. They really want to, they really like to be on their own without the influence of the Fulani, and that will be a good achievement for the Hausa people. But we, in the middle belt, we don't have any problem with the Igbos, we don't have any problem with the releasing of of Inam Dikanu because we see Inam Dikanu as a person who is struggling to see that his people become what he wants them to be and that will be a great achievement for him. So people of the world, good people of the world must understand that Inam Dikanu is not a terrorist and he will never be a terrorist. You will never hear that the IPOP are killing people. They are killing people or you will hear that like, the, like the Fulani. Yes, like the Fulani because the Fulani are the enemies of this country called Nigeria. And whoever is against me is a terrorist. Even if they will find any means to harm me, I am not afraid of them because I believe that in life there is time to be born and there is time to die. So the problem of this country is the Fulani. And the Fulani, they don't have any inheritance in this country. It will be good for the good Fulani to maintain the peace that they have in this country, to stay in unity because that will be better for them than for them to carry an agenda which is of the devil, which is of the evil. And that will do them no good. Now, uh, now good. Um, the middle belt, you know, are seen as people who has been struggling, you know, for a defense to defend themselves at the end of the day, you know, and they, uh, they are also has made it very clearly, you know, that uh, Namdekano is uh, uh, one of their own uh, and somebody they would like to have, you know, speak for me to bet when Biafra restoration will finally come. Uh, uh, what is your opinion on that? Thank you. Uh, middle Belt, they have been depressed, they have been, they have been killed in different areas, in different places uh, by the Fulanese. And the people of the Middle Belt, they understood that that killing is because those Fulani, they want to come and occupy their land, they want to capture the land by all means, that is their purpose. That is their own belief, to capture everywhere, to dominate everywhere, to be the one to rule. That is why you see, that is why, it, this is something that I would love, that for many people will not love to hear, but I have to say it. Even when you look at what is going on in Kano, a Fulani man is fighting for a, a, a position that does not belong to him. That place supposed to be a Hausa person, being, being a king, not a Fulani, and a Fulani will just come to another man's land and he's fighting. So we have seen that, we have seen that happening in this country. And there are different, even the, the Fulani man that was in Kaduna, being as the, the head, being as the, the king, the head in Kaduna, uh, for me it's not supposed to be Fulani, it's supposed to be person from that place. So those people, they have their own agenda. 
and they don't want us to talk because they know if we talk the world will understand and the world will begin to the good people that are in the world will begin to help the one that need help to see that this issue has been has been worked out is it true that uh, the Fulanese are afraid of Inam the Kanu? Of course, they will be afraid of Inam the Kanu because they know their, 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 they know their movement. He will surely stop their movement, and their movement is a negative movement. It's not a movement that is going to help this country called Nigeria. They have been ruling for so long. The only one Fulani that I know is good is Er Adua, but the remaining Fulani called Buhari is not a good person. Even the people, even Atahiru Jika, don't look at him as as people that are helping this nation with Mahmoud. I don't see them as people that are helping this nation because they have been part of, 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 of activities that is not good. They have been part of, can you see how Mahmoud will collect money just to give somebody that is not won an election, person that has not won a seat because of money you collected. What does that tell you? If that person is a true Nigerian and if that person believes in the motto of Nigerian peace and unity and prosperity, he will not act on that. He will act on the faith and the peace and the unity. But as you can see, it shows us that there is no unity and there is no faith, there is no any prosperity. Uh, would you like to see Inam de Kano visit Middle Belt once, once it's released? Inam de Kano, I believe, is a person that would like to work with good people of Middle Belt. He would like to see that things is going, not only middle belt, even in Africa, I believe that Inam Bikanu would love to see Africa to, be, to, to become a place whereby everybody will have a meaningful life, not be depressing by some certain set of people. For so long we have been depressed in this country and we don't know when that depression will come to an end, but we believe that in life there is time for everything. There is time for everything. No matter what they are doing, I believe it will surely come to an end. Their evil will surely come to an end. Thank you. Are you surprised a Sultana is saying has signed a gay agreement in Nigeria? Well, I met Tinubu, uh, are you surprised? I'm not surprised. A Sultana, not even I, a Nortana. I'm not surprised. Why I'm not surprised? Because three years back, we were having a conversation with one pastor and he told me that Tinubu is the president of gay in Africa. So it's not a surprise for me. And for him to sign that thing, he show us who he is. He, show, he has revealed his true nature, which is he's a man who make love with men. Yes, and which is bad, which is detestable. And we must say that is pure act of evil. And God will surely arrest him for that evil. He will never be a free man because of those things. Today we are having problems in the, in the world. It's all because of those things. And they think it's a freedom. God give you freedom does not mean that there are some certain things you will cite and put it into law of a nation. Do you know how God has already made this country to come to be? He, does, he doesn't know. Did he know how God created the universe? Did he know how we get America, Nigeria, Africa, Australia? Do, did he know? He never knew. So in the law of God, he has, God, God has disproved that. So for him to sign it, it shows who he is. They are the supporters of bad things, they are the supporters of wrongdoing, and they will never be a supporters of good except he repent. And repentance comes with what? It comes with, if you truly repent what you have stolen from the government, you will make a restitution. So if he repents, whoever said he repents, you are in the government, you do not make restitution, it's not a repentance. You have to make that restitution. That shows you truly repent and God will have mercy on you. And that eternity which we are talking about, Jesus is coming, is real. But for some people it's a story. It's a story. Uh, 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 finally, um, you know, uh, what is your message? Uh, to Nigerians, and um, as we are expecting the release of Unam de Kano, you know, uh, what is your message to uh, the, the Aousas, the Middle Belt, and of course, Nigerians, you know, who are all seeing Unam de Kano, might likely, uh, you know, uh, visit those areas, come to the rescue, or ask them uh, to vote, you know, for restoration during the referendum for Biafra, possibly cross over to Biafra uh, to avoid. Uh, what is going on now, currently now, because we are hearing that Boko Haram are taking more local government on daily basis in the north. They, as I'm talking to you now, middle, some part of Benue has been occupied by 
Fulani, Boko Haram, and they are collecting taxes from those local government. You know, and people are saying that once the restoration of Biafra comes, they, they, they made the belt, uh, and of course, some Christians in the north might decide to uh, have a, a refuge in Biafra land. Do you buy into that, uh, Paul? Yes, I'm telling you, as I'm speaking right now, we, we really, we really, we really like, we really like Inan Bikanu. It's, uh, it's just the few people that will not like Inam Bikanu, people from the middle bear, but majority we like Inam Bikanu because we understood their gimmicks, we understood what what they are trying to do. So in terms of relationship and in terms of, of, of the Biafra coming to our help, I believe that they will surely come to our help. But I still believe that we the middle bear, you know, what we just need is that if and the middle bear needs to know that they should support the, 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 the release of Enam Bikanu and they should they should know that this is going to be for our own personal good because it's a man that stands for justice. If you are talking about justice in this country, we know that justice has lost for so long. But that is one of the man that I can testify that he's standing for justice and he doesn't want to quit it. So people that are thinking he's going to, to quit it, I don't think he's going to quit it. He's time for that and he will surely achieve his aim. Thanks for watching. Bye.